Good morning, this is Vicky. And this is Jo. And, and we're, we're the Two Natural, Natural Ladies. Ladies. And we talk about the good news we all need and ways of getting the most out of life. We help people with practical, uplifting ways we can all make a difference. And we're striving for better, not perfect. And we love a good laugh. Please enjoy the show. Welcome to everyone listening this morning from Victoria, Australia and beyond. And thank you for joining us. We know that Adrian's listening because he made a comment about the news. So yes, um, welcome, Adrian. So I found this little piece and I thought, oh, it just brings back memories. We'll see if people know what I'm talking about when I start. So it's from a couple, Lauren and Annette, the Weekly Rocket. So they, they talk about marketing and things like that. On this day, way back obviously not today, in 1889, the Iron Lady, now I didn't know who the Iron Lady was, but some people will, was open to the world. She was the tallest structure in the world for over 40 years and not everyone loved her. Of course, we are talking about... Eiffel Tower in Paris. Yes. 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 And many artists and poets, poets slated it as useless, barbaric and monstrous, oh. saying it was a hateful column of bolted sheep metal and that it would dominate Paris like a gigantic blat smokestack. Oh. Yes, one artist was so hateful of it that when it opened, he ate lunch in the ground floor restaurant every day because he said it was the only place in Paris that he couldn't see it. <laughs> So the Eiffel Tower has gone on to be one of the most recognised structures in the world, an icon of France and the most visited paid monument with over 250 million visitors since it was opened. And Vicky and I are not one of them. <laughs> no, well, we, but we did see it everywhere we went. We did. Yes. We did. <laughs> this this just goes to prove that if you build something iconic, do not worry if everyone loves it. Uh, sorry, if everyone doesn't love it. You are going to have haters. It's more important that you have a vision for your brand, a purpose and passion, and that you create something monumental that is easily recognized. Mm-hmm. So I thought, wow, okay. I, I haven't thought of anything monumental that we could do yet. Mm. So, But every, if everyone hates it, we're on the right track. That's right. Yes. Exactly. You see, everyone loves our hats. So, you know, <laughs> I felt like that's the only brand thing that we've, we've created so far. But yeah, I'm sure there's more to come. Mm, okay. But yeah, I, I, again, it's, it's whenever you have a vision, mm. you'll start telling people about it and they'll go, oh, no, 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 that, no, no, you need to do this. Yeah. This is what you need to do. And so, yeah. so what it's saying is ignore everybody. Yes. 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 <laughs> if you have a vision, go for it. For it, yeah, and and if it stands out, then yes, you'll get the lover, you'll get the haters, but you also get the lovers. Yes, and in the end, you'll have two hundred fifty million visitors. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> so yes, I just thought that was a little bit of fun information oh. to start to start our morning. It's very inspirational. Mm, and yes. then then I thought we'd go to, in distress. Okay. <laughs> Well, you do have a bit of stress when you're listening to people, you know, yes. giving you their, um, their 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 two cents worth. That's right. That's yes, it. yes, I know. <laughs> it's it's an interesting interesting phenomenon, isn't it? Because I I, I know that people are wanting to be helpful, mm. and you don't want to take that away. But at the same time, there are times when you just don't need that. <laughs> no, and I I know that I've had opinions at different times, and and, and then later on thought. Maybe that was just where I was at at the time. Yes. Yeah, so we all have our own perspective, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's right or wrong. No, that's mm. right. And again, if we put it into the mix and mm. people see it as part of the mix, because we've actually been having a bit of coaching. That There is another word, but anyway, I can't think of it. But coaching. Well, we've been doing like discovery, discovery sessions or? But yes, that, I, yeah. they certainly are yes. discovery sessions. And at times you think, is anything going to happen in this? You know, the, mm. our, our wonderful coach, he's very, what's the word? He'll, he'll just <laughs> go with the flow, which we love. Very organic. Yes. And he loves does, to tell a story. Well, he does love to tell a story. And he, mm. the, the, I think the biggest thing is he doesn't tell us what to do because no. he, sh- he, re- he knows he shouldn't. <laughs> He probably knows. He, he, yeah, he really shouldn't be with us. <laughs> so his name's Jeff Kelly. So we we, we must um, acknowledge well, him. And we have interviewed him. We have, Ooh. yes. And uh, we've had some amazing discoveries out of that. Mm. And yes, not by him telling us what to do. In, in fact, he says lovingly, which I think is fabulous. He says, "You've got so many diamonds in your backyard." Mm. Go and mine them and 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 use them. So you know, acknowledging we've got. 
all that we need. We've yes. just got to discover it. Yes. Yeah. The, and the other thing he says is, you know, often, you know, when he's talking to people, they're standing right in the middle of what they need. Yes. And, yes. And Which he, we were. Yes. And he said, do this. We went, oh, my gosh. Yes. Yeah. So it, it's, it is. And, and before that, it can, you can be in a very stressful place. Because mm. once we released it and realized that we were like, ah, oh, you know, there was this real joy mm. and excitement. But, yeah, one of, one of our beloved friends, Stephanie Rother, who's a hypnotherapist, she writes a lot about stress. She talks about all the different kinds of ways that, you can, that stress can show itself. Mm. Obviously, if you've got pain, you can be feeling really stressful. Mm. I remember when my dad first got rheumatoid arthritis. This was 40 years ago or something. He went grey. He was in so much pain. He went mm. grey. And interestingly, he started wearing grey clothes. Oh. So he looked even greyer. But mm. his, so his whole mood was grey. Mm. Are you talking his hair went grey or just his face? Or no, his, his, his body. Yes. Yeah, his face. Yeah. His, his, um, everything. He just looked grey everywhere. Mm. And, uh, yeah, but he, the pallor of his skin. And well, it's amazing how quickly you can lose colour too when you're in mm. – and I've had pain like that where I all of a sudden you can see it. You can see that, that I'm in pain because my skin has changed colour. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So, yes, pain can be extremely stressful. Mm. And then you've got, you know, if you're having sleeping issues, and I've, I've had some periods of time where I haven't slept well and – for me, that can be very stressful. And even Monday nights, although last night I was not concerned. Ah. I went and I slept perfectly. So this feeling of stress of waking yeah. up early makes a huge difference and yes. it's coming from the head. It's like when you oh, – yeah, well, back in the day when, when, you know, when you knew you had to catch a plane early yes. and you couldn't sleep. It's like, mm. It doesn't make any sense, but, we, yeah, we project into the future. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so that and, – and, and then you get exhausted. And, in fact, they've said that if you get less than about seven hours sleep, it can affect – it's a bit like you're drunk. Mm. Now, I don't think that works for everyone because you seem to function really well <laughs> on a lot less sleep. I think I can – if you take a snapshot of a week, I probably – Make I do make up for it on certain nights, or I might have a snooze one day or something. I think I make up for it. I probably have an average over a week. And I would have thought most people could deal with one night of less sleep as long as you're not doing it every night. I find that the next day, I'm yeah, no, nah, it doesn't really work for me. Okay, to, to miss any any good night's sleep. Well, you've had four children as well. I see. I would yes. have put it down to four children because you know sometimes you don't get much sleep. No, hmm. no, I, I don't. I think I think the thing for me is it's if you're not getting a lot of sleep day after day after day after day, I think your system somehow tends hmm. to deal with it. It's the five days you're getting good sleep, and then hmm. all of a sudden you have a couple of bad days. Then it ruins your system. I remember the first month of my last son, who was almost four and was four and a half years younger than his than my third son. So I'd been getting full night's sleep, and all of a sudden, mm. and I was thirty four, so I was a bit older. And that that first month was just like a haze because mm. I wasn't getting any sleep. But anyway, there you go. Gut issues can cause stress. Irregular menstrual cycles, tense muscles and or pain. Oh, I've said that pain. Oh, yes. And I notice how, uh, you know, when I'm in sort of in an intense kind of conversation or meeting or whatever, when I'm working, all of a sudden I think, I'm holding myself strangely. Yes. Yeah. Well, driving can do it for me. Yeah. I, if, if I notice, because um, I've been doing quite a bit of driving lately, and uh, the first couple of days of driving I found... My neck was getting really sore because mm. I was obviously holding tension, whereas yesterday I was really aware of not, you know, and, and I did a couple of neck exercises and, and I'm fine. Mm. So if, if we're not aware of what we're doing with our body and, and our heads. <laughs> <laughs> um, irritability, mm. uh, you know, can cause stress. Well, I would, is that a catch-22? I think so, mm. yes. Stress stress causes irritability. Yeah, and then lack of energy and motivation. Mm. Well, lack of sleep. Yes. Again, you know, so, I mean, this, these are all, you know, what came first, the chicken yes. or the egg? Elevated blood pressure. Mm. Yes, that's right. Yes, yeah, that would be caused by the stress. Mm. So what can we do about it? Because we don't want to stay in the land of these. Um, oh, we always like the good news. That's right. Yes. <laughs> Tell us, what can we do? <laughs> well, we, we, we actually... We came up with this as well. Acknowledge the stress. Acknowledge to yourself that you're stressed and don't be afraid to ask for help. 
It's interesting, isn't it? Because often, because I'm coping, inverted commas, you know, I, I, it's I, sometimes I don't acknowledge the stress. Mm. It's easy to do. Mm, it is. Mm. It is. And I guess it's become such a buzz thing mm. that it's almost like, oh, I don't want to be like all of them or not that even, but oh, am I just saying it because everyone else is stressed, yeah. you know? And is anyone going to listen anyway because everyone's saying they're stressed? Everyone's or, busy and stressed. Yes, yeah. yes, exactly. <laughs> but yes, I think it does. I mean, exercise regularly, oh, definitely. Moving the body helps to process excess stress hormones. Yeah, that makes a huge difference. And remember we were talking when we were talking to Elizabeth a few weeks ago from the Natural Health Society and she said, I think it was Elizabeth said that when you go for a walk first thing in the morning, it releases certain things. I can't remember what oh, it was. I can't but, remember uh, that. But, yeah. It's, it, I'll it, have to listen to our podcast. Yes. It really makes a mm. difference to, okay. to us. probably is. I just find, I mean, I, I don't go into all that you know, clinical stuff like I'll go for a walk to release stress hormones. But <laughs> You don't? No. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> but I just think, okay, Vicky. And often when you, I'm in that spot, I'm sure I'm not alone, I forget what works. Yes. So then I'll, so I go for a walk and all of a sudden my head is clear and I'm thinking again. Whereas I can easily be sitting there thinking, I've got 10 million things to do and mm. I can't think. So, but yeah, the walk, a short walk even. Yes. Time in nature. Yes. Mm. And and uh, I'm sure she talks about it, but but bre- breathing or, mm. or she says practice mindfulness or meditation. Yes. And I'll, I put the breathing in there too. So it doesn't have to be a full meditation. Mm. It can just be spend, you know, a couple mm. of minutes taking some nice deep breaths. It makes a huge difference And we to know me. how many photons that can produce. Yes, we mm. do. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands. Yes. yes. Lots and lots. Yes. Spend time in nature. And and look, with my walks in the last few days, because it's been so crazy, I didn't go on those days where mm. it was pouring with rain. I'm not a pour with rain walker. I just think it would be very unpleasant. It, yeah, exactly. Yes. exactly. <laughs> but I did go on the rough days and so that you could really hear the waves. I mean, yep. I'm, I'm right next to them. But I, I find there are moments when I can just allow the – the waves to really like be part of me. I mm. can let the sound of it resonate in my body, and it's it's great. Mm. So I'm sort of trying to meditate as I'm walking or experience it, it and that's really uplifting. Mm. There's lots of ions. I don't know whether are we negative or positive at the beach, but anyway, there's lots of oh, always positive. <laughs> <laughs> well, the bush is one, and then the beach is another. All right. And I don't, I can't never remember which because, is which. Which is which? But yes, it's it, and that's de- definitely spending time in nature. Mm. So, and we're avoiding caffeine. Yes, yes. Mm. Have proper meal times. Well, that's something I'm not very good at. Mm. Eat a diet in which fresh fruit and vegetables with adequate sources of protein yes. are included. Mm. Taking herbs to support your stress response. Mm. You can take a nutritional supplement. Vitamin B is very good for stress. Mm. And seek the help of a professional. You know, I, I like this. We like toolboxes. You know, you can get go get a relaxation toolbox. Oh. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, so off you go. <laughs> You've been listening to the Two Natural Ladies podcast. Visit twonaturalladies.com.au for more information. Thanks for joining us. 